Hey everybody, hello. Welcome to the class. I hope you had a very nice weekend. And uh, we're going to start by checking here the, the platform, which is this one. And remember that here you are going to find the question. And uh, also we need to finish today the uh, exercise six. Con el ejercicio 6 hay que tener un poco de cuidado porque aquí es donde a veces la, la respuesta puede que no, no esté correcta. ¿verdad? Entonces hay que tener cuidado eh, porque si un espacio está de más, un punto está de más o de menos, un símbolo o algo por el estilo, no, no queda bien. Anyway, si tiene algún problema me avisan y pues lo chequeamos. La 3 y la 5 no me salen a mí, ya le puse de todas las formas posibles. ¿no? La 3 y la 5, le mire, chanca. Okay. En la, ah, sí, tiene un error, la 3. Tiene razón. En la 3, para todo, ¿verdad? Eh, solo hay que poner R. Es un error de la plataforma. Lo voy a reportar para mientras, solo póngale R con minúscula. Y se la va a agarrar. Si quiere, intente ahorita y me avisa. La 5 también tiene error. Ah, lo que pasa es que solo le... Como, déjeme ver la... Mistake incorrect. Sí, lo que pasa es de que... En la dirección de esta dice... Find the mistake incorrect. Entonces hay dos posibles respuestas. Eh, hay que poner cuál es... La corrección del error, solo una palabra, por ejemplo, o hay que poner toda la oración. Sin embargo, en la 3, en la 3, el problema que tenemos es que eh, no toma toda la oración, solo la palabra, la corrección. Entonces, por eso la respuesta en la 3 solo es R. Y en la 5, ok, en la 5, ¿qué ponía usted? Cuéntame. Bueno, probé de muchas formas. Le puse la S a person. Ok. Posiblemente ese es el asunto. El plural de person es people. Ah. Ok. Entonces pruebe con people y se la debería de agarrar. Igual se pone la, toda la oración. Tendría que ser, por, por ejemplo, there are not uh, people. Así tendría que ser. Good. Correcto. Hoy sí se la agarró. Correcto. Perfecto. Ok. Se uh -huh. le escapan a uno. <ríe> sí. Sí, ya me han estado dando guerra y no. Y me, <ríe> no me daba, pero bueno, gracias. No, estamos a la orden. Igual por eso revisamos, porque yo sé que estas son las que a veces hay error. O sea, cuando nos equivocamos en las otras, lo cambiamos y después analizamos. ¿verdad? Ah, ¿por qué me salió así? Pero aquí es un poco más complicado porque a veces sí tiene errores la plataforma. Entonces, pues ya le queda ahí a ustedes eh, todos como debe de ser, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues aprovechando que estamos por aquí ya en la clase, hay que recordar que hay que ir a tiempo con la plataforma. El sábado yo envié notas, pero hay personas que no han hecho nada todavía. Eh, Francisco Ernesto Cuña no tiene ni a, nada, nada en la plataforma. Si tiene algún problema para ingresar, o con las tareas, pues me avisa. Tampoco Gabriel Esaú. Y tampoco Kevin Ramiro. Los demás, todo bien. ¿okay? Y esta semana es muy importante ir al, al tiempo, o al menos para el viernes, haber terminado tanto las, las tareas como el examen de Mitchum Test, ¿verdad? que se hace viernes. Yo sábado estaría envi enviando las notas. Entonces, please, hay que hacer eso, ¿verdad? Hay que ir al día. Y este sábado sí es importante que vayamos al día con todas las, las tareas. Igual les voy a escribir allí en el, en el chat lo mismo, ¿verdad? Para que estemos eh, conscientes o estemos, pues, trabajando en lo que nos toca, ¿ok? So, we are going to check the attendance. So, Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. 
Elba Yanira Canizales Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Present teacher. Ah, él, ok. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Gisela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, my friends. Eh, let me just check. Ah, oh, Abel ya vino hoy. Carlos Bantao, ahorita le ponemos. Okay. Good. Okay, my friends, we are going to continue with the class. Nice. Let's move on. So this is the class of tonight. Okay, so today we're in the class number six and we are going to remember or to learn how to use there is and there are. Okay, this is very easy. It's very similar to the verb to be usage. Okay, so there is and there are. Let's see how it goes. Um, Saul Adalberto, please read this slide. Ayúdeme a leer este slide, por favor. Okay. We use there is and there, there is and there are to say that something exists. Positive sentence, we use there is for singular and there, there are for plural. There, there is one table in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. There is a spider in the path. There, there are, there are many people at the bus stop. Very good, perfect. So we use there is and there are to say that something exists. Como cuando decimos en español hay, verdad? Hay un estudiante. Hay muchos carros. Hay ese hay de haber. Ese es there is and there are. It's very easy. But please remember that if you are going to use singular, then the noun has to be singular. Ese es lo primero que tenemos que recordar, okay? So, we can say there is a student. Ahí vamos a unir el uso de I am. There is a student. Si fuera plural sería there are. Y ya no va a haber. There are students plural okay that is the very first part there is a student that is correct there are students that is correct para plurales no usamos a porque eso significa un verdad es como si dijéramos hay un estudiantes not good it's not going to work okay and uh, if you use singular you are going to use singular noun tenemos que hacer match. Si va singular, there is, va singular el nombre. There is an apple. There is a book. 
there is a computer. Ok. En el there are ya no va ni a ni a. ¿Alguna pregunta con esta primera parte? Repítalo, teacher, si no hay mucha molestia. Claro que sí. Gracias. Uh, so, when we use there is, that is singular. There is es singular. Una, una cosa, una persona. Hay, ¿verdad? Hay una cosa. Por ejemplo, there is a lamp. There is a bottle. There is a table. Hay una, un, ¿verdad? Con a. Pero cuando es plural, es a, en primer lugar, no va. No la vayamos a poner a there are. A, ¿verdad? O sea, no existe. No está correcto. Y el nombre tiene que ir en plural. Porque hay de mucho, ¿verdad? There are es varios. So it's going to be, for example, there are lamps. Plural. There are books. Plural. There are tables. Plural. Esa es la primer parte. Questions with that? Entonces, there is es plural. No, there is a singular. Singular, singular, okay. Singular, solo uno, ¿verdad? Singular, okay, ajá. ajá. Y there y are, are, plural. Plural, ok. Ajá. Y casi siempre con there is usamos a, casi, mire que le dije casi. Ya le voy a explicar cuándo no lleva a el singular. Ok. Ok. Por ahorita hay preguntas, do you have questions? Claro como la horchata. Ok. And there are some examples. Ahí hay algunos ejemplos, ¿verdad? There is one table in the classroom. Le puedo poner one, aunque lo más probable o lo más común es decir a o an. There are three chairs. ¿verdad? There are three chairs, plural, in the classroom. There is a spider, no plural. In the bath. There are many people. Que es lo que estábamos viendo allá en el, en el ejercicio, ¿verdad? There are plural. People es plural. Uh, there are many people at the bus stop. De hecho, esto es uno de los errores más comunes que cometemos a veces cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés. Que decimos there is people. Porque nosotros en español decimos hay gente. ¿Verdad? Singular en español. Pero en inglés es diferente. There are. Siempre que hablamos de people, tenemos que usar plural. There are people. ¿Ok? Esa es muy importante. Porque si usted de repente le dice allá a un gringo, there is people, cuando ande allá en Nueva York, ¿verdad? Va a decir el gringo, a este chamacón no le dieron bien el inglés allá en El Salvador, ¿verdad? So, please remember that. It's very, very important. Questions? Miren que ya vamos a practicar. Si no entiende, pregunta ahorita. Ok. Let's move to the next. Ok. Este me va a ayudar a leerlo. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, could you please read this slide? Hello, Jocelyn. Yo creo que anda de fiesta porque ahí le veo que anda con unas vejiguitas. Ok. Eh, teacher. Hello. I want to say to you that um, I can't turn on the camera because my head hurts. I have flu, but I can't participate if you want. Ok. Could you please help me reading this slide? Ok. Thank you. We also use there is with uncountable nouns. There is milk in the fridge. There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. Perfect. Thank you. Entonces, yo pensaría que ya se acuerdan de los contables y los no contables, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan de esa clase? Que tuvieron sí. a saber con quién, pero hace algún tiempo vieron esa clase de contables, non-contables. Entonces, este es non-contables, uncontables. So, we're going to use there is 
foreign constables. Foreign constables, we are never going to use there are. Nunca usamos there are con los no contables. Imposible, ¿verdad? No se puede. Y ve acá. ¿Se acuerda que allá en el primer slide le dije? Casi siempre usamos a, ¿verdad? Con there is. Pues mire aquí, ya no usamos a, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos de uncountables, yo puedo decir there is, pero ya no digo a. There is milk in the fridge. There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. No lleva a. ¿Por qué? Porque no tiene sentido decir una. Imagínense la primera. Eh, there is milk in the fridge. Si le pongo a, diría hay una leche en la refri. Mm, no good. It's not going to be correct. Hay leche en la refri. There is, sin el A, no lleva. There is some sugar on the table. Some se puede ocupar con contables e incontables. La única diferencia es que cuando ocupo some con contables, tengo que decir there are. There are y el nombre va en plural también. There are some tomatoes on the table. Y cuando lo ocupo con incontables, ahí sí lleva there is. There is some sugar on the table. Sugar no lleva ese. No se puede. Igual la última. There is ice cream on your shirt. Ice cream es no contable. No lleva a y no se le puede poner plurales. ¿Ok? Question. Sí. Ajá. Si digamos, yo no hablo de la leche en sí, sino de la botella de leche, entonces, there is a milk bottle. That is correct. Sí, porque la botella ya cambia, ¿verdad? Ya el nombre sí, cambia la y botella la botella ya es contable. ¿no? Es contable. Yo lo puedo contar. Entonces, eh, we use that for containers. Cuando hablamos de contenedores, botella, lata, bolsa, paquete. Aunque la adentro lleve incontables, como lo que estoy diciendo, el nombre es contable, entonces sí, ¿verdad? Ahí ya se puede. Gracias. Good, perfect. Any other question? Estas reglas son bien importantes. It's very important that you remember that one. Hagamos una práctica con contables e incontables. A ver cómo nos va. Solo me van a decir countable o non-countable. Yo les voy a decir una palabra y ustedes me dicen si es countable o non-countable. Y de ahí, pues, recordar que lleva de is y sin la A. ¿Ok? So, let's see. Todos vamos a tratar de participar. Um, if I say computer. Countable. Good. If I say cars. Countable. Countable. Ah, ese es countable. Countable. Good. Uh, if I say traffic, non-countable. Non-countable. Uncountable. Esa no se puede. Uncountable. If I say um, eraser, countable. Countable. Very good. If I say rice, uncountable. Uncountable. Si el arroz, vaya, aquí es un poco tricky, ¿verdad? Porque si yo puedo contar el arroz, pero yo creo que nadie va a un restaurante y dice, mire, me da 2,823 arroces porque tengo hambre. ¿verdad? <risa> no, ¿verdad? That is no pause. A lot of rice. A little rice. So that is it. It's very important. Digamos, uh, let's see, house. Countable. Countable, very good. If I say window. Countable, very good. If I say money, uncountable. Perfecto. Esa es uncountable. Esa es bien tricky. Aquí creo que se entiende bien lo del contable y e incontable. Recordemos que no contamos lo que significa la palabra, sino lo, la palabra en sí. Entonces usted no puede decir, no llega al banco y le da, me da cinco dineros. No, la palabra dinero. No se puede contar. Podemos contar los billetes. 
five bills, ¿verdad? Podemos contar las monedas, five coins, pero la palabra es la que yo veo, si se puede contar o no, no lo que significa. Entonces, dinero, nosotros igual en español, pero no decimos, mira que él me debe ocho dineros. No, ¿verdad? It's not possible. So, that is very important, that you remember. That you remember when something is countable or uncountable, okay? Okay, questions here? Questions. Okay, let's continue. Contractions. A ver, Carlos Humberto me va a ayudar a leer este, este slide. Okay, uh, contractions, the contractions on their easiest there's there's a good sum on the radio there's only one chocolate left in the box you can you cannot con contract the yard there are my nine cats on the floor on the floor on the roof Pardon. there are only five weeks until my birthday very good perfect so contractions uh, the contraction of there is, is there's. So you can say there's. There's a cut. There's a book. Uh, there's an apple on the fridge. You can say that one. So, and there are some other examples there. There's a good song on the radio. There's only one chocolate left in the box. You cannot contract there are. There are, no se puede contactar. Uh, they are, C. Sí. But there are no. Okay, so there are nine cats on the roof. There are only five weeks until my birthday. So, do you have any question here? No questions. But recordemos que there is, si se puede contratar. There's. There are, no se puede contratar. Okay. That is very important, okay? Uh, questions for you. Uh, what is, in a, pre, in a segunda ejemplo, there's only one chocolate left in the box. ¿Qué dice ahí? Solo queda un chocolate en la caja. Solo queda un chocolate en la caja. Left. Véase que aquí left no es izquierda. Es lo que queda, ¿verdad? Left. In the box. Good. Otra pregunta, roof. What is roof? Techo. Techo, very good. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Negative form. Let's see. It's going to help me reading. Let's see. Laura Fuentes. Uh, negative from the negative is formed be by folding, by folding notes after is or are. There is not a horse in the field. There are not eight children in the school. There are is not a tree in the garden. There are not two elephant elephants in the zoo we almonds always use a contraction we speaking the negative contraction are there is not there is in, there are not there aren't okay perfect thank you laurita so negative form the negative is formed by putting not after is or are Fácil, ¿verdad? Para ser negativo, solo le agrego not después del verbo to be. For example, there is not a horse in the field. There are not eight children in the school. There is not a tree in the garden. There are not two elephants in the zoo. So we almost always use contractions when speaking. Entonces, casi siempre... Eso se contracta, eso se puede contractar. So the negative contractions are there's not or there isn't. 
Recordemos que la pronunciación es isn't, no es isn't, no lleva e después de la s, es isn't. There are not, ese no se puede contactar, there aren't, es así. Entonces, casi siempre las negativas, almost always, we use contraction. So, there isn't any apples, uh, there aren't any students. Igual, ¿verdad? Si ocupo is, el nombre va en singular. Si ocupo are, el nombre va en plural. La misma regla aplica para las negativas. Questions with the negative part. No, teacher. Okay. I don't have. Very good. So, that is it. I mean, there is not a horse in the field. What is field? El campo, el campo. Very good, perfect. Let me see any other. Almost always. What is almost always? Casi siempre. Casi siempre. Very good, perfect. Okay, let's continue. Okay, there aren't with any. A ver, eh, Ivania, help me read in this place. There aren't with any. When we can to indicate that a zero quantity or something exists, we use there aren't any. There aren't any people at the party. There aren't any streets, trees in my streets. We also use the structure with incountable nouns. There isn't, isn't any water in the swimming pool. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. Perfect, thank you. So, it's very, very common that we use any, okay, with the negative part of there is or there are. So when we want to indicate that zero quantity of something exists, we use there aren't any. Es como cuando decimos no hay ni una, ¿verdad? No hay. Ese any casi siempre va en las negativas. Se puede utilizar con plurales y se puede utilizar con singulares y se puede usar también con uncountable nouns. Como por ejemplo, there aren't any people at the party. No había nadie en la fiesta, ¿verdad? Ni una persona. There aren't any trees in my street. No hay árboles en mi calle. No hay ni uno. We also use this structure with uncountable nouns, que es lo que les decía antes. There isn't any water in the swimming pool. No hay nada de agua, decimos nosotros en español. Pues ese nada de agua es como there isn't any. There isn't any water in the swimming pool. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. No hay nada, no tiene nada de azúcar en mi café. Nothing at all. Okay? So, any is to reinforce that there is nothing. Zero quantity of something. Do you have any questions with this? Questions? Okay. And the last one are the questions. Okay. To form a question, uh, well, we're going to listen to Roberto Emilio. Help me reading this. Okay. Questions. To form a question we place is, are is front of there. Again, we use any with plural questions of the those which use uncountable nouns. We also use there is. R is short answer. Is there a, a dog in the supermarket? No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Yes, there are. Is there a security guard in the shop? Yes, there is. Are there any polar bears in a Antarctica? No, 
there aren't. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is. Perfect, thank you. So in the questions, we are going to switch the position of the verb to be. Como cuando hacíamos preguntas con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Antes va el verbo to be. So, we can use any with plural questions. Or those we use uh, uncountable nouns. Para las que son singulares, que son contables, por eso es bien importante saber cuáles son contables o incontables. Para las que son contables, yo no ocupo any, sino que ocupo a. Por ejemplo, la primera dice, Is there a dog? in the supermarket, no dice any is there a dog in the supermarket no there isn't la respuesta casi siempre es corta para estas, para este tipo de preguntas ¿verdad? no there isn't ahora el otro ya es plural, vea cómo cambia are there any dogs in the park yes there are ok entonces para el singular a ah. para el plural any Recordemos que si hubo plural es are y es ducks. El nombre va en plural también. Good. Ok, and then it says, is there a security guard in the shop? A, ah, uno. Yes, there is. Are there any polar bears in Antarctica? No, there aren't. Y para los uncountable, yo puedo usar is y puedo usar any. Ahí yo sé que es non-contable. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is. Preguntas con las preguntas. Eh, no. Teacher, solo una consultita. Dijo plural a y singular any. No, eh, para el singular de los contables, vamos Ajá. a usar a. Y de ahí any puede ir en los plurales de los contables o en los singulares de los no contables. Ok. Good, perfect. Any other question? No questions. Ok. Eh, esta la vamos a ver hasta después porque ya van varias. So, vamos a practicar. Vamos a hacer dos prácticas. Una son oraciones y la otra es un párrafo. Les voy a ir diciendo lo que vamos a ir haciendo, ok. Y luego ustedes me van a ir. Lo voy a dejar ahí en la pantalla para que ustedes vayan viendo y luego escriben y me comparten lo que escriban. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to write... Uh, like this. We're going to write three sentences with there is and uh, three sentences with there are. Uh, con la there is hay que meter contable e incontable. ¿verdad? Son seis en total. En la there is puede ser contable e incontable, pero hay que meter al menos una y una de la otra. ¿verdad? So, ¿Preguntas con lo que vamos a hacer? No hay preguntas. Ah, entonces los espero. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que escriban. Son seis oraciones en total, tres con der is y tres con der are. Afirmativas por ahorita. Solo afirmativas, please. Si hay preguntas, me avisan. Yo estoy por acá.
teacher. How do you say haciendo cola? Uh, sería standing in line. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And to describe a place after standing in line, it can be at, for example, at the bank. Yeah, it's possible, yeah. Okay. Good. Ready, teacher. Perfect. ¿Todos terminamos ya? Yes. No, teacher. Ok. Vamos a esperar un par de minutitos más. Don't worry. Okay. Of course, no worries. I'm going to wait. Teacher, the plural of fish eats the same, right? That is correct. Okay, I'm perfect. Okay. Okay, uh, has everybody finished? Todos terminamos ya? Okay. Yes. Nice. Vamos a escucharlos. Entonces, ahora me van a contar qué escribieron. Eh, vamos a chequear. So, let's start with Carla Mendoza. Okay, and there is a pencil in my desk. 
there is some sign from of the of the farm and there is a river near my house esa última me la puede repetir there, is. there are there are there are some flowers in my garden there are some flowers in my garden okay and there are few trees in the park there are many english speaking countries very good perfect thank you now francisco acuña okay teacher one moment okay uh, there is a ruler in my pencil case there is something i forgot to tell you there is an excellent hotel near here there are two windows in the front of the house. Windows. There are 20 apples in the box. Windows. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people who go down the life in those. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Carla Daniela Molina. Okay. There is a bird in my window. There's a shoe under the bed. There is an orange in that tree. There are many people standing in line at the bank. There are some teachers eating in the cafeteria in front of the school. And there are colorful fish in the pet shop. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Let's check now. Cristina Cerritos. Okay. There is one table in the classroom. Okay. There is a scorpion in the room. There is um Ashley, teacher Ifly o Ifly. Eh, perdón, ¿qué palabra es esa? Um Mosca. A fly. Mosca, fly. A fly. Okay. Como casi no se utiliza. ¿ves? There is a fly, a fly in the ointment. Okay. Um, y solo tengo una de la de las otras. There there are three child in the classroom. Ahí sería three children. Three children. El plural de child es children. Children, ok, que le voy a cambiar entonces. Gracias. Perfect, ok. Solamente, teacher. Ok, very good. Now, Carlos Humberto. Pues ahí le escribí en el chat que, como me estaba escribiendo, mi jefe me llamó. Este, no había puesto mucha atención. Que es... Ah, ok. Lo que tiene que hacer es escribir tres oraciones con there is y tres con there are. Nada más. Lo vamos a dejar de último. Ok. Que sean diferentes. Ah, of course, different, yeah. Ah, ok, sí. sí o sea, ¿qué pasa el otro y después paso yo? Of course. Let's see. Janet Ángel. El teacher solo he hecho una de cada una. Igual este, tenía problemas con internet. Ah, ok. Vale, cuéntame bueno, lo que este, tiene. Y, ajá. Vaya, there are shoes expensive in the store. Ahí sería, there are expensive shoes. Ah, al, al contrario. Uh -huh. Vaya. Y there is book in the table. There is a book on the table. A book. Oh, vaya. Así que determinan las esa, otras. Ah, terminas porque la vamos a utilizar para el siguiente ejercicio. Mm, bye. Ok, good. Eh, Saúl Adalberto. Ok, um, there is my book, there is a normal signal, 
there is my pencil. There are sold out. There are the enemies. There are my cats. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Laura Fuentes. Uh, there is a cat in the garden. There is a juice at the party. There is a car outside. There are two white blouses. There are stars in the sky. In the sky. There are three rooms in the house. Perfecto. Solo una la que dice juice. Ahí el A le tiene que quitar. There is juice. Lo demás está bien. Okay. Good. Elia Janida. Not possible, okay. Uh, Ivania. Okay, teacher. Um, there is a shy inside the school. And there is a cup of coffee on the table. Uh, there is a supermarket near my house. Uh, they aren't any chocolate left and um, uh, uh, are there any more sandwich and the last one uh, there are going to be a, a lot more happy days like this okay very good perfect nice uh, roberto emilio Hey, teacher. There is somebody at the door. Okay. There is a spider in my room. There is candy for the children. There are three people waiting. There are 10 apples in the box. There are a lot of accidents on the road. Okay. So, con la de candy, hay que ponerle a. There is a candy. Okay. Good. Now, uh, Jocelyn. Okay. Um, there is a dog in my house. There is a cell phone on my bed. There is a pencil in my backpack. Um, there are four apples on the table. There are shoes in my bathroom. There are money in my wallet. Para la de money, no. Porque esa es, no se puede en plural. Es eh, lo que decía ah, antes, ¿verdad? No podemos decir, tengo cinco dineros. Entonces, eh, there is money. Ahí tendría que quedar there ah, is money. Ok. okay. Uh, a ver, Edenilson, let's see. Ok, teacher. There is a book on the table. There is a calculator in the desk. There is a clock in the store. Uh, there are a dog in the garden. There are new computers in the office. There are cookies in the kitchen. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Gisela Beatriz. Not possible. Okay, let's see. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay. There is some rice in the fridge. Uh, I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Okay. There is some rice in the fridge. Some rice? There is I'm sorry. some rice. 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 Ah, uh, there is some rice. Okay. Yeah, some rice in the fridge. Okay. There is a computer on the table. There is a pencil on the desk. Um, there are candies in the basket. There are only five weeks until Christmas. There are two animals 
esa, esa me cuesta pronunciarla, es esmaltes, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Nail polish. Ni polish, pero también se puede decir, eh, también así, ¿verdad? Animal. O sea, se escribe enamel. Ah, ok, yeah, it's possible, yeah. Ah, ok, pero si no es, ¿cómo me dijo? Nail polish. Ah, ok, there are two nail polish that I, I love. Ok, very good. Uh, perfect. Now, Elizabeth Hernández. Not possible. Creo que... Ok, oh, sí. Ok, go ahead. I'm sorry. Le escuchamos. <laughs> ok. There are five computers in the office. There are two pet, pet in my house. There is a printer in the office. There is some use, use on the table. There are many, many people at work. Okay, perfect, thank There you. There is a lot of work for this week. Okay, nice. Very good, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, creo que todos pasamos ya, ¿verdad? Ah, me falta Mario. Let's listen to Mario. Me ha dejado abandonado. Bueno. No, I'm sorry. There is a cat on the roof. There is the sun in the whole class. There is the sun coffee in the kitchen. There are a lot of people in the this class. There are many opportunities to learn at, at this country. There are some books. Ok, very good, perfect, thank you. Y nos faltaba siempre Carlos Humberto. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a computer in the desk. Uh, there are many magazines to read. Uh, there is my new car. Y los de there are There are, there are many magazines to read. Ok. Mm. Perfect. Uh, solo con la de there is, uh, on, uh, si cuando usamos uh, the table, tendría que ser la preposición on the table. That's the oh. only thing. Oh, ok. Good, perfect. Ahora sí creo que ya estuvimos todos, ¿verdad? Ok, we are going to continue with the exercise. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to uh, transform that into negative. Ahora toda la vamos a pasar a negativo. Fácil. Es la misma que hicieron, la vamos a pasar a negativo. Le voy a dar unos minutitos para que las escriban y luego pues compartimos.
Ok, did you finish? Todos terminamos ya. Falta alguien. Ok, let's practice. Let's see how it goes. A ver, iniciamos ahora con Carlos Humberto. Ok. Uh, sería este. There's not my new car. Sería. There are not any magazines to read. Okay. El otro sería. There is not a computer on the desk. Okay. okay, good, perfect, thank you. Eh, Mario Ernesto. Las mismas eran solo que negativo. Yes. There, there's not a cat on the roof. There's not the sun in the hourglass. There is not some coffee in the kitchen. There aren't a lot of people in this class. There aren't many opportunities to learn at this country. There aren't some books on the table. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Jeanette. There are not expensive shoes in the store. There are not floor pencil in the classroom. And there is not a, bu a book in the table. There is not food in the house. There is not computer in the office. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Mario, ah no, Mario ya dijo verdad, sorry. So it's gonna be, uh, Cristina. Okay. There is no ball in the court. There is no uh, scorpion in the room. There are no walls in the forest. Uh, there are no sick child in the dining room. Dining room. Dining room, okay. Yeah. There are no many people in the stadium. Okay, thank you. thank you. Now, Saúl Alberto. Saúl Alberto, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, there, there is not my book. There is not my, a normal signal. There is, isn't my pencil. There aren't sold out. There aren't the enemies. There aren't my cats. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Francisco Acuña. Okay, teacher. Yeah. There is not a ruler in my pencil case. There is, uh, there is not an excellent author. No sé si me equivoco. That's fine. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> There are not two windows in the front of the house. There are not 20 apples in the box. 20 apples. Wow. Good, perfect. Now let's see uh, Laura Fuentes. Um, there is not a cat in the garden. There is no juice at the party. There is not a car outside. There are not two white blouses. There are not stars in the sky. Okay. There are not I'm sorry. three rooms in the house. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. That was good. Elia Janira. Okay, not possible for Janira. Ivania. Uh, 
Okay, teacher. Uh, there isn't a child inside the school. There isn't a cup of coffee on the table. Yeah. There isn't a supermarket near my house. There aren't any chocolate left. Uh, there aren't any more sandwich. If there aren't going to be a lot more happy days like like this. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Roberto Emilio. Okay, teacher. Um, there isn't somebody at the door. There isn't a spider in my room. There isn't a candy for the children. There aren't three people waiting. There aren't 10 apples in the box. There aren't a lot of accidents on the road. Okay, very good, perfect. Jocelyn, please. Um, there isn't a dog in my house. There isn't a cell phone on my bed. There isn't a pencil in my backpack. Um, there aren't four apples on the table. There aren't shoes in my bedroom. There aren't cars in garage. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Let's see who else is missing. Uh, Carla Mendoza. Okay, uh, there isn't a pencil in my desk. There isn't a mountain in front of the, the farm. There isn't a river near my house. There aren't some flower in my garden. There aren't few trees in the park. There aren't many English speaking countries. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Abel Edenilson. Okay, teacher. There is not book on the table. There is not a calculator in the desk. There is not a clock in the store. There are not a dog in the garden. There are not new computers in the office. There are not cookies in the kitchen. Okay, very good. Now, Carla Daniela. There isn't a beard in my window. There isn't a shoe under the bed. There isn't an orange in the tree. There aren't any people standing in line at the bank. There aren't any teachers eating in the cafeteria in front of the school. And there aren't colorful fish in the pet shop. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Gisela Beatriz. Not possible. Marilyn Alejandra. Not possible either. Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay. There are not five computers in the office. There are not two pets in my house. There is not a pointer in the office. There is not some shoes on the table. There are not many people at work. There is not a lot of work for this week. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you. All right, we did that part. And the last part is going to be very, very easy. Eh, any no, este ya va incluido. Vamos a hacer preguntas. Vamos a transformar las que tenemos into questions. Okay, les doy unos minutos para que las transformen y luego comparten.
teacher. Yes. Uh, only question or answer? Eh, sí, tiene mucha razón. Le vamos a poner una short answer. Algunas negativas y algunas afirmativas. Please. Ok. Perfect. Thank you. Teacher, disculpe, fíjese que me levanté. No sé si me puede decir qué vamos a hacer ahorita. Claro que sí, Laura. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es transformar las que ya teníamos en preguntas y le vamos a poner una respuesta corta, algunas afirmativas y algunas negativas. Ah, ok, gracias. Of course.
Hey, did you finish? ¿Falta alguien todavía? Nobody. Ok, let's practice then. Vamos a ver cómo nos quedaron las negativas. Let's see. Uh, Roberto Emilio. Why, why, why? Ok. <laughs> Now, is there somebody at the door? Yes, there is. Is there a spider in my room? No, there isn't. Is there a candy for the children? Yes, there is. Um, are there three people waiting? No, there aren't. Uh, are there 10 apples in the box? Yes, there are. Are there a lot of accidents on the road? Yes, they are. There are, perdón. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Laura Fuentes. Uh, is there a cat in the garden? No, there is no. Is there juice at the party? Yes, there is. Is there a car outside? Yes, there is. Are there two white blouses? Yes, there are. Are there stars in the sky? Yes, there are. Are there three rooms in the house? No, there aren't. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Are there five computers in the office? Yes, they are. Are there two pits in the house? No, there aren't. Is there a printer in the office? Yes, there is. Is there some juice on the table? No, there is not. Are there many people at work? Yes, there are. Is there a lot of work for this week? Yes, there is. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Janet Angel. Are there expensive shoes in the store? Yes, there are. Are there four pencil in the classroom that there are aren't? Is there a book in the table? Yes, there is. Is there food in the house? No, there isn't. Is there a computer in the office? Yes, there is. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, Carlos Humberto. Okay, yeah. Is there a computer on the desk? Yes, there is. So, are there any, are there any magazines to read? No, there aren't. Is there my new car? Yes, there is. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, Cristina Cerritos. Um, is there a ball on the floor? Um, is there a ball? Um, there is um, a scorpion in the room. Is there? Is there a scorpion? Um, is there a scorpion? Um, are there walls in the forest? If there are walls. Solamente. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Mario Ernesto. Is, is there a cat on the roof? No, there's not. Is there the sign in the whole class? Yes, there is. Is there some coffee in the kitchen? Yes, there is. 
are there a lot of people in the class? Yes, there are. Are there many opportunities to learn and discuss? No, there, uh, there aren't. Are there some books on the table? Yes, there are. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Saul Adalberto. Is there my book? No, there aren't. Is no. there an, uh, sería no a there signal? Isn't. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. Oh. No, there isn't. Uh -huh, excuse me. Is there a normal signal? Signal? Yes, there is. Is there my pencil? No, there isn't. Uh, are there so loud? Yes, they are. Are there the enemies? No, they aren't. Are the are there my cats? Yes, there are. Okay, very good. Thank you, Francisco Acuña. Okay, teacher. Is there a ruler in my pencil case? Yes, there, there is. Is there something I forgot to tell you? No, there is. No, there is. Isn't. There selling other new here? Yes, there is. Are the two windows in the front of the house? Yes, there are. Are there 20 apples in the box? Yes, there are. Are there lots of the people who do the lie in those? Yes, there is. There are. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Elia Janira. Not possible. Ivania. Okay, teacher. Is there a child inside the school? No, there isn't. Is there a cup of coffee on the table? Yes, there is. Is there a supermarket near my house? No, there isn't. Uh, are there any chocolates left? Yes, there are. Are there going to be a lot more happy days like this? No, there aren't. Okay, very good, thank you. Now let's see Jocelyn. Oh, not possible. Okay, oh. teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, is there a dog in my house? Yes, there is. Is there a cell phone on, on my bed? No, they isn't. Is there a pencil in my backpack? Yes, there is. Uh, are there four apples on the table? No, they aren't. Are there shoes in my bedroom? Yes, they aren't. Yes, they are. Uh, are there cars in garage? No, they are. Okay, very good. Perfect. Now, Carla Mendoza. Okay. Is there a pencil in my desk? No, there isn't. Is there a montagne from the farm? Yes, there is. Is there a river near my house? No, there isn't. Are there some flowers in my garden? Yes, they are. Are few trees in the park? No, there aren't. Are my are many English speaking countries? Yes, there are. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Carla Daniela. Hello. 
Is there a beard in my window? Yes, there is. Is there a shoe under the bed? No, it isn't. Oh, no, there isn't. There, is there an orange in the tree? Yes, there is. And are there any people standing in line at the bank? Yes, there are. Is Are there any teachers eating in the cafeteria in front of the school? No, there aren't. Are there colorful fish in the pet shop? Yes, there are. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, Gisela Beatriz. Not possible. Marilyn Alejandra. Not possible. Abel Edenilson. Okay, teacher. There, is there a book on the table? Yes, there is. Is there a calculator in the desk? No, there aren't. No, there isn't. Is there a clock in the store? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. Are there a dog in the garden? No, there aren't. Are there dogs in the garden? Are there new computers? Mm -hmm. Are there uh -huh. are there new computer in the office? Yes, there are. Okay. Are okay. there cookies in the kitchen? I'm no, sorry. there aren't. Are there... Okay, very good. Uh, creo que todos pasamos ya, ¿verdad? So, uh, do you have any questions with there is and there are? Los contables y los incontables. Questions. Okay, we're going to check something else. How many with are there? También podemos usar how many y are there juntos, ¿verdad? Uh, let's see. We're going to uh, read that one. A ver, uh, Carla Mendoza, me ayuda a leer. Okay. Uh, how many weeds are there? Is we want to find out the number of ob objects that exist, we use how many in the following, following form. How many plus plural noun plus are there plus complement. How many dogs are there in the park? How many students are there in your class? How many countries are there in South America? How many Star Wars films are there? Okay, very good. So as you can see here, we can combine the two things so we can create an a very common question actually. So how many with are there is very common. If we want to find out the number of objects that exist, we use how many in that form. How many plus the plural noun, este tiene que ser plural, y are there. Y un complemento. Es como cuando decimos cuántos de estos hay en tal parte. Por ejemplo, how many dogs are there in the park? ¿Cuántos perros hay? en el parque okay. recordemos que siempre va primero el verbo to be y luego va there y por supuesto el principio va how many, sería how many el nombre en plural y luego are there how many students plural are there in your class how many countries are there in South America how many Star Wars films are there so we can combine both okay so to ask how many are in something 
Questions. Do you have questions? Preguntas con esta parte. No. Cuando son como eh, positivos, como afirmativos, eh, se usan many. Y cuando es como negativo, es any, ¿verdad? El, lo que pasa es que any va más que todo cuando es una yes, no question. Entonces usted puede decir, um, are there any students in the class? Ahí sí. Para preguntar. Uh -huh. Ah, va a una pregunta, pero tendría que ir en una yes, no question. Are there any? En cambio aquí, how many? Ya, ya, ya no es si hay alguno o no hay alguno, sino que cuántos hay. Good. Any other question? Ok. Eh, también esta no está acá, pues, pero la podemos ver. Eh, se puede usar con how much. How much water is there in the fridge? Con los incontables, por ejemplo. Entonces, ahí como yo no puedo preguntar cuántos hay, si son incontables, yo voy a utilizar how much. How much milk is there in the carton? How much money is there in the wallet? Entonces, recordemos esa parte. Que si es incontable, vamos a usar en primer lugar how much. El, el nombre va a ir en singular. Y luego vamos a ocupar is there. Y luego el complemento. ¿Ok? ¿Any other question on that? ¿Alguna pregunta con how much? No questions. Ok, ahora esto lo vamos a practicar de una manera diferente. Vamos a escribir cuatro preguntas con how many. Podemos incluir una o dos de how much si usted quiere. Ok, how many y algo ahí, ¿verdad? Solo la pregunta sin respuesta, please. ¿Alguna pregunta con lo que vamos a hacer? Ok, les doy unos minutos para hacer las cuatro preguntitas. Let's see how it goes.
Have you finished? Terminamos ya todos. Okay. So we are going to do a practice that is a little bit different. Vamos a practicar de una manera un poco diferente ahora. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a iniciar haciéndole las preguntas a un compañero. Se la vamos a preguntar y el compañero nos va a contestar. ¿Ok? Y luego la otra persona le va a preguntar a usted. Así lo vamos a ir haciendo. Do you have questions? Preguntas con actividad. Ok, iniciamos entonces. Janet. A ver, se va a echar la platicada con Mario Ernesto. Vaya. Ahora, para iniciar, no, no vamos a preguntarle un solo, ¿verdad? Que decirle, hello, how are you? Y para saludar, ¿verdad? Y cuando terminan es como que good night y ahí se ven, ¿verdad? Entonces, y luego se hacen las preguntas. Se hacen las cuatro preguntas y luego Mario le hace las cuatro preguntas, ¿ok? Iniciamos. Hello, Janet. Eh, hello, Mario. How are you? Fine, thank you. Ahora le hace las preguntas que escribió Janet. Uh, bueno, how many people are there in the office? Okay. Tengo que contestar. I'm sorry. No tengo que contestar. Okay. Bien, sí, la tiene que contestar. Repítame la pregunta. Repeat, please, Janet. How many people? Ah. How many people are there in the office? People no lleva ese. People. Nada más. Ok. People. I don't know. That, no, people. No, people. Uh, people. Uh -huh. Ok. La otra pregunta, Janet. How many cars are there in the parking? Usted puede mentir, no, ¿verdad? No sabemos aquí, Mario. Solo para practicar. Uh, three cars. Okay, there are three cars. How many children are there in the kindergarten? Children, sin ese. Children. There are uh, 40 children. 40 children, good. Y la última pregunta. How How many calculators are there in the classroom? Yeah. How many calculators are there in the classroom? There are uh, 10 calculators. Okay. Good. Ahora Mario le pregunta a Janet. How many books are there on the table? Repeat, please. How many books are there on the table? Mm. How many books are there on the table? How many uh, books? Um, are there, there are? three books? There are three books. Three books. How many games are there in the Sunset Park? Mm, okay. Repeat. How many games are there in the Sunset Park? In Sunset Park. Sunset Park. There are. No, 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 no lo entiendo ahí. 
Ahí le tiene que decir repeat, please, para a ver si le entiende. Uh, repeat, please. How many games are there in Sunset Park? Se ve que no ha venido por la playa. <risa> no, no he ido ahí. Va, y le puede decir, I don't know, ¿verdad? Así como le dijo a él. Vea mi fondo de pantalla. Y puede ver. <risa> ok. There's the ass words. <risa> Ok, la otra pregunta, Mario. How many teachers are there, are there in, the, in, in this class? Uh -huh. How many teachers are there in the class, in this class? Mm. There, there are teachers. Uh -huh. Teacher. Creo que no. ¿Verdad? Only one. Only one, that's the answer, yeah, good. <ríe> Ahí en esa es bien interesante porque en esa la respuesta tuvo que haber cambiado, ya no es there are, sino que there is, there is one teacher in this class. Así tiene que ser. Ok, ah, a ver, la otra pregunta. ¿Cuántos maestros había en esta clase? Ajá. Teacher, teacher. Bueno, are there in the, in the picture. Repeat, please. How many women are there in the picture? How many women? Women. Uh -huh, Janet, how many women are there in this picture? Mm -hmm. How many women are there in this picture? Um, there are um, two women. Two women, okay. Okay. Y le falta una, ¿verdad, Mario? No, están las cuatro, ¿ya? ¿eh? Okay. Cuatro, cuatro. Sí, cuatro, suficiente. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Janet. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, perfect, nice. Now we're going to listen to Cristina and Carlos Humberto. I think that is okay. Yo empiezo, teacher. Of course. Uh, okay. How many people are in the beauty salon? In the beauty salon, okay. In the beauty salon. There are five. Okay, good. How many students are in the class? Okay. There are, they are uh, 20. Okay. okay. How many people are in your family? How many yeah. people are there in your family? Uh, perdón, teacher. Are there? Uh, uh -huh. okay. um, but lo voy a repetir y si me equivoco de nuevo me corrige, por favor. Okay. How many people are there in your family? O okay. no, y Ali. Siempre va Ali. Así está bien, sí. 
Okay. Ah, ok. Entonces le toca a Carlos. Pelota. Repita, por favor. Repita, por favor. How many balls are there in the gym? Mm. ¿En el gimnasio? Gimnasio, sí, ajá, esa palabra sí la comprendí, pero lo demás no. How many balls are there in the gym? 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 How many balls? Are there in the gym? Are there in the gym? Bolsa es pelota, Tichi. Ah, um, está traduciendo. Ajá. No, 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 no. No, yo, yo en mi. En ok. Mi poquito con... Está bien. Sí, bolsa es pelota, definitely. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuántas pelotas hay en el gym? Algo así quiero decir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ok. Um, two, two. There are two balls. How many trees are? La respuesta es: there are okay. two balls. There are, there are two balls. Okay, mm -hmm. gracias. Siguiente, don. Pero la chica estaba parando ahí, se me ha dejado ahí. A traduciendo. <risa> Está hablando en inglés la perrita. A rato, no es igual. Ok, sería: ¿Cómo many trees are in the, in the forest? Uh, repeat, please. No. Repeat. ¿Cómo many trees are in the forest? Are there in the forest? In the forest. Uh -huh. are, are there, are there see. how many oh. trees are there are in the forest? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ajá, Cristina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many trees are there in the forest? Repeat nuevamente. How many ¿Cómo? trees are there in the forest? Mm. Vale, vamos a la siguiente, porque tenemos que pasar a los demás. A ver, Carlos, la otra. ¿Cuántas? How many towns are there? ¿Cuántas? Repeat, por favor. Uh, how many towns are there in the state or department? ¿Cuánto tiempo? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, towns. How many towns? Town? Uh, como pueblo. Ajá. Sí, pero vamos a tratar de no traducir. Uh -huh. Sí, no, teacher. Nací. Ok. Ok, very good. That's not a problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Cristina. Let's thank check you. Laura and Saúl Adalberto. Okay. Okay. Um, how many cats are there in the garden? How many cats are there in the garden? Oh, are right, two cats. Okay. Um, wait, wait. Uh, 
How much juice is there at the party? How much juice is there at the party? There are uh... how many stars are there in the sky? Uh, the last word, please. Hola. El, la, la última palabra, repeat, please. Skype. Skype. Mm -hmm. How many stars are there in the sky? Mm. Y they are a lot, a lot of stars, a lot of stars. Okay, there stars. are a lot of stars. Good. How many rooms are there in the house? Uh, the house are have uh, four rooms. Okay, there are, there are. There the are house. four mm -hmm. rooms. Okay. Okay, and. I go, uh, how many shoes per, how many per shoes, per shoes you bought? How many pairs of shoes are there, tendría que ser, are there? Uh, how many shoes, how many pairs of shoes are there? Um, there are... Um, a lot, a lot, como digo, okay. a lot. Okay, that's good. How many eggs I, how many eggs I need for the cake? Um, repeat, please. How many eggs I need for the cake? Solo que ella no lleva arder, tendría que ser, how many eggs do I need for the cake? X Ah, okay. How many eggs do I need for the cake? Cake. Mm -hmm. Sí. Um, there are one cake. There are maybe uh, no, eggs. Le pregunto cuántos huevos. Eggs. Um, there are five. Solo que como ahí le pregunta need, ¿verdad? Porque le cambió la pregunta, sería I need five eggs. Entonces sí. era, sería I need five. I need five. Exactly. Uh, how many stars form a constellation? Um, there are a lot of stars. Okay. Very good. How many gallons of gasoline I need for the ride? I need um, eight, eight gallons. Ok, very good. Sí, en esta siempre recordemos que cuando ocupa, cuando ya no ocupa de ar, tiene que decir do I need, ¿verdad? Ahí ya es, ya no es el verbo to be, sino que ya es a do or does. So that will be it. Ok. Eh, se nos acabó el tiempo para pasar a los demás, pero yo sé que las hicieron bien nice. So, we are going to check the attendance, pero antes de eso, do you have any question? No question. Ajá. Una, una, una duda. En eh, los ejercicios que tenemos la plataforma, en la número 2, eh, intenté varias formas, no me la da. ¿La 2 o la 3? La 2. Ah, la 2 dice que sí estaba bien, déjame ver. Eh, la 2. ¿Cómo le puso? A ver. Eh, le puesto. De Arwan Office en San Miguel. Ah, ese es correcto. No, no es así. There is an office in San Miguel. Algo por el estilo, ¿verdad? 
Le puedo poner solo la palabra o toda la oración. There is one office in San Miguel. O solo corregir la palabra que está incorrecta, que es office. No offices, sino que office. Okay. Okay, good. Perfect. Bueno, el one on one ahora es... Sí, solamente. Ok. Uh, el bueno okay, de ahora sí. es... I'm sorry. Parece que hay delay en, en, el, en la conexión. Está bastante inestable porque he visto que varios... Hay, tenemos problemas con el internet. No sé qué, le, qué pasa ahí con el tigo. ¿verdad? Anyways. Uh, el, el bueno de ahora es para Gabriel Esaú. Y pues vamos a pasarle. Está Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present teacher. Good. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Yanira Canizales Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Presente. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Presente. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Present. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and dream in English. Good night, teachers. Good night, teachers. Good night. Good night, teachers. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.